Hello everybody, my name is Kara and welcome to my channel and this weekend's reading vlog. I'm super pumped to get into what I'm reading this weekend because I have got a plan and the plan is to finish the fantasy series that I, <laughs> I'm in the final book of two different fantasy series, The First Argentines by Jeff Wheeler and The Dark Artifices by Cassandra Clare. This is a reread for me, but I have been on the last book of The Dark Artifices for so long, but I forgot. And so now I'm going to pick that back up, finish it. I think I'm like halfway through. I have it on Audible um, and on my Kindle, so I'm not exactly sure. I think about halfway. So the plan is to listen to that this weekend. That's my audiobook. I'm gonna finish it. And then I'm gonna get into, um, well, get into, I'm almost done with Fate's Ransom by Jeff Wheeler. This is the last book in the first Argentine series. I believe it's the last book. Maybe he'll write another one. Who really knows with Jeff Wheeler? Um, this is one of my most beloved fantasy worlds. It is set in King Fountain, which you've read, if you've read Jeff Wheeler, all the books I've read by him are set in King Fountain. I don't know if that's true for all of his books or not. Um, but this series and the Queen's Poisoner series were so good to me and I cannot wait to wrap this up. I have literally just like a hundred pages left of this, so I'm definitely gonna finish this this weekend. Um, and I'm expecting to cry. I've already gotten like a little bit teary-eyed here in the last little bit of this series. It's just so sweet and I love the characters we're following. I'm so invested in everyone. So good. I'm not going to give any spoilers obviously for this or for The Dark Artifices. Obviously because I'm reading the last book in these series. So if I were to spoil the last book I would be spoiling everything. But I will do a little series review to conclude this little reading vlog but um my goal is to complete these two fantasy series because the next book I want to dive into is a big one and it's Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson this is the second book in the Stormlight Archives yes the second book in Stormlight Archives I read The Way of Kings last year and I loved it it became I think my favorite book of all time and I really wish that I would have taken the time to annotate it as I was reading. So I got these post-its for this one and I'm gonna annotate it and just like really just spend, spend some time with it. Take my time with her, love her. Um, anyways, I'm gonna annotate it. And so I don't wanna be in any other fantasy worlds while I, <laughs> I am reading this behemoth of a book. I could quite literally take somebody out with this. What's actually, how long is it? <laughs> so short. Look, it's like 1300 pages, okay? Yeah, almost exactly, 1300 pages. So that's the plan. I will keep you guys updated on how I complete the Dark Artifices and my completion of Fate's Ransom for the first Argentine series. Both are great. I'm pumped to finish up all of these things so that I can get into this. I will check back in with you guys when something significant happens.
because I have never really pitched the book to you guys. Um, loving the lighting. Let's actually, let's just change the angle here. That's a little bit better. I realized I never really pitched the book to you guys. So I was just reading Fate's Ransom by Jeff Wheeler. I think that much I shared, but I think I said before that it's the last book in the first Argentine series, and now after finishing it, I have my doubts. But let me tell you. Not that it didn't conclude everything in a satisfying way, but it either left room for more books or another series set in the same world. So, and honestly, that could already be out. <laughs> I don't know. But it was so good. Um, so, the first Argentine follows um, our main character, Ransom Barton, and we follow Ransom from the time No. We follow Ransom from the time he's a young boy all throughout his life, um, so him like growing up and then becoming a knight and all of this really fun stuff that happens in the first book all the way through the last book. Um, I won't really say anything more on that. I, It's a really, really beautiful story. The characters are super compelling. Jeff Wheeler is so talented at writing an interesting magic system, political intrigue, and his battles are so good. I didn't know I was a, I was a battlefield girl, but I think I am at least when Jeff Wheeler writes it, because it's just, I find it so compelling. Like the amount of storytelling he can do through a combat scene is really impressive. And all the things that unfold through those scenes and how clear they are, um, I just love, 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 love. Um, Jeff Wheeler's books often also have a some romance. I loved the romance in the first Argentine series. Um, it was just so sweet. It's just a sweet couple. Mwah. So sweet. Um, so that's really my pitch for it. I think it's a beautiful story. It has a lot of allusions in it towards scripture so that obviously makes me love it even more and makes it more touching for me as a reader um but if that's not your thing it's not it's not in your face at all like you don't have to know bible stories to enjoy um to enjoy the book but it is just so so sweet uh and i <laughs> i usually only let one tear go when I read something that's sad, but I think I must have shed at least five. And that's a lot for me. That's like a full on cry for me. I really, really loved it. I think that last book is a five star for me. And I think overall the series is a four star. I'm really stingy with my five stars. <laughs> Um, which you wouldn't know it by this reading year. I've had such a good reading year so far. Mostly because I have really let myself DNF stuff. So I'm not going to read it if I don't think I'm going to love it. And that's really been working out for me so far. So I've been putting books down a lot more and being more critical with what I pick up. So one book done this weekend and it's only seven o'clock on Friday. So that's feeling really good. I have um, the audiobook for The Dark Artifices that I still need to listen to, which I'll probably do while I finish up doing this laundry and make dinner. It's so long. Um, and I haven't lost interest, but this definitely isn't my favorite concluding book by Miss Cassandra Clare. Um, maybe it's because I spent so much time in between reading it. I have like a two month intermission on this story, but like I said, I know, I don't remember all that happens, but I know the gist of it. Anyways, I'm excited to get back into that and finish it.
I just got back in my car from going to Half Price Books. I picked up a copy of Other Birds by Sarah Addison Allen. Um, I read this earlier this year from my library and I loved it. And so I wanted a physical copy for my collection because I do think this is something that I would want to reread. I've been listening to Queen of Air and Darkness. In fact, I almost bought a physical copy in there, but it was like kind of dirty and not worth it. But I've been listening to it. I'm reinvested. I'm loving it. Um, uh, Julian in this one makes me so sad. It's so upsetting to listen to. But we're coming out of it. Um, and I'll just keep y'all updated. I still have like 11 hours left of the audiobook, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get through it this weekend, but we shall see. Okay, so I'm about to go to sleep right now. I don't really know if you can hear me. Um, but I didn't read too much more of Queen of Air and Darkness, and I'm about to go to sleep, but I think I'm going to start Don't Fear the Reaper, Don't Fear the Reaper by Stephen Graham Jones, because I read My Heart's a Chainsaw earlier this month and loved it, and Don't Fear the Reaper is on Kindle Unlimited. So I think that will be my fantasy break, um, before I go into Words of Radiance, so... That's the plan. I'll update y'all with how far I get into this tomorrow morning. Okay, I sure did not keep you guys updated yesterday. So here's what happened after I got home from Half Price Books. I listened to a little bit more of Queen of Air and Darkness. And then my husband and I ended up just going to get dinner. Um, and so I didn't read any more that night. But I did start um, Fear the Reaper as I was going to bed. So y'all saw a little clip about that. But I do have some more thoughts on Queen of Air and Darkness. And so I'm going to share them now. Because I haven't given a cohesive sit-down conversation <laughs> about it. So I think I have decided. Julian is truly one of my favorite Cassandra Clare characters, but I think that this trilogy, The Dark Artifices, is, I think it might be my least favorite of Cassandra Clare's works. I think I prefer things that are set in the past when it comes from to Cassandra Clare, so the fact that it's present day makes me like it a little bit less, probably. Um, I just like the ambiance she makes with like her Victorian era stuff. Um, so there's that. And then I also think that, I don't know. Here's what I know. I don't like how much like spice and given it's not like really graphic or whatever um, is included in these, I don't read any books with that I skip over um any small sections um and I feel like there's just too much honestly and I think it actually takes away from the characters relationships and again it's not a lot it is certainly like YA level but I would prefer to have zero so um those are just my thoughts. I think that's probably making me like it less. I do love Julian as a character. I think he is great Emma, honestly, take it or leave it. I don't think she's super compelling <laughs> in general. This sounds really harsh. I am enjoying my time. I love um, the Blackthorn family in these books. And that's probably why I do really like the series and why I have read it and will reread it. Because I love the sibling dynamic. I love, the, like, family and... Um, like all their found guardians since they've been through so much trauma and there's these just these adults in their lives looking after them um i think it's really sweet and i love that i also love christina and i part of me just wishes that she was the main character to be honest um 
Emma's funny, but she's just not my fave protagonist from a Cassandra Clare. Like, she's no Cordelia, you know? You guys know if you've read Cassandra Clare. I love Cordelia. So, um, yeah, but I am enjoying it so far. It's just not my favorite Cassandra Clare. And she, there's like how many, like 22 books or something in the series. So that's okay. It's okay for them to fall short, you know? I still love being in the like Shadowhunter universe and world and stuff. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on Queen of Air and Darkness. I still have um, I think like six hours left, so I probably won't be finishing it this weekend, but I'll probably finish it this week. Next weekend, we can start on the Stormlight Archives adventures. That's my update. I'm going to continue to listen on this fine Sunday. I was hoping to go to the park, but it's actually been raining and kind of overcast. So won't be reading in the park this weekend, which is a bummer, but all's well. Um, I'm just gonna listen to this while I plan our summer vacation. It should be a fun time. So I'll keep you guys updated with more of my thoughts at the end of the day today, if I have any more thoughts. But that's where I'm at right now without obviously spoiling anything, so. Yeah, I will be back to chit chat and wrap this up later today. So I just finished Queen of Air and Darkness. I was literally just laying on the ground in my living room, listening to it. Um, and I have thoughts, and they'll be spoiler-free thoughts. First of all, I'll say my final rating for this is three and a half stars, which is a big bummer. I don't think I ever rate series enders that low, because usually I'm so invested by that point. Anything is a four or five, once you've read three books, you know? But here are my qualms with Queen of Air and Darkness. One, I think it was too long too long um i think she could have done it not in 900 pages <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, it could have been shorter for sure that's not to say that i ever felt bored but i also did you know mm, i don't know the other big complaint i have is that a couple of the relationships felt really rushed and weird and I didn't like all their relationships um some most of them were good and I enjoyed them but there's just a few that I felt were too rushed and I didn't like them at all my last call with Queen of Air and Darkness we have so many incredible side characters in this series and I feel like they were just brushed to the side I didn't feel like they got expounded on at all in this final book Kit and Drew got more to them, but for the most part, I feel like the characters were left in the dust. The best part of all the characterization in this one was characters from other books that we get to see, like, in this one. Obviously, Clary and Jace and Alec are existing at the same time, and so they're weaved into the story as well, which is fun. But I wanted to know more about the Blackthorn family. What I did like, I love the political intrigue of this final book. That's really what saved it for me. I thought the politics were interesting and I enjoy that part of fantasy. That's generally one of my favorite parts and I wish they would have spent more time there than they did literally anywhere else. So, um, yeah, it's just a 3.5 for me. Okay, it just is, which is a bummer. I wanted it to be a four but it was still good. Still had a fun time and I'm glad to have finished it. I accomplished my goal and finished the two fantasy series that I was wanting to finish this weekend so that I can get into Words of Radiance that I keep on saying and I will document that journey as well. If you've made it this far, thank you. To be honest, this feels like cringy and embarrassing 
to be filming a video and sitting in my living room right now, but I'm having fun and that's what's important. So I'm just gonna let go of feeling self-conscious about it. And I'll just thank you for watching this far into this video. So that's pretty much it.